When you work really hard and are passionate about what you do, really amazing things happen. Fast forward five years later, who would have thought that I would have gained a best friend and our company would have grown from two crazy entrepreneurs to a company of 15. Now we are looking for three exceptional young ladies to join our team for a summer internship. So we've asked Josie and Emma from our marketing team to spearhead this project. Shop 112, where Daniela met our manager Angela and two of our stylists, Danica and Nadia. My experience at the store was definitely really fun and engaging, and I learned a lot. I got a direct insight to what marketing really is and working with customer service. And then Danica just taught me more of how to go with the customers. I just kind of shadowed her and helped her with a couple of customers looking for what they wanted and how we could help them out. Danielle had no hesitation doing anything. She was really, really great. She was on the ball with everything. The moment I asked her, I was like, oh, okay, why don't you go ahead and talk to this customer and see like what they're interested in, like their style and everything. She, right away, she was down to do it. She was just willing to do everything and anything. So after working on the sales floor, Daniela headed over with CC where they were gonna be working on Snapchat together. Snapchat with CC was definitely a blast. She's a very funny person, so I just had so much fun. My first impression of Daniela was, wow, I love her. She came up to me, she hugged me, she told me she was really excited for Snapchat, and I just really loved being around her. Her energy was awesome. We did a lot of like silly things, and she just taught me like how to be silly, but also get the marketing out there. So after working with Cece, Daniela was gonna work with me on Instagram. We styled a series of nine different outfits, and each were to be photographed. I think working at Emma, it really taught me like she's a great photographer and like she, her directing me throughout the whole thing, it was like really helpful. I just look for good lighting and really got some shots. <laughs> Another cool part of this is Daniela's gonna be working with our blogger Sarah and helping her create this week's blog. Blogging was definitely different from anything I had done ever before and the previous days we didn't really get into blogging until today with Sarah and that's the part I was most scared about because I'm not very good at writing. We worked on my blog segment that I do every Thursday for Monday. Uh, we chose outfits for back to school. Uh, we did a kind of a black and white theme going on and some of them with the pop of color. And it ended up not being hard at all. She was very supportive throughout the whole way. She told me exactly what she does and it was actually very interesting and I had a lot of fun. So we finally tasked Daniela with her challenge of what uh, her project is gonna be for this internship and she's actually going to be working with Angela in her new clothing line. In the beginning, she was kind of nervous, you know, to pitch the project to Angela, but she did a really good job, like giving her ideas and presenting, you know, the vision that she had for the photos. The project that I got assigned consisted of working for Culture Noise Clothing, so basically I had to do what Emma and Josie do here at Shop 112. I had to prepare like a mini photo shoot, uh, get the model to like cooperate with me, take some pictures, and after taking them, I had to edit them and pick the best ones. Going into the project, I didn't know how large it would be, but I just knew I had a big responsibility in taking it because Angela's barely starting her clothing line and she was already gonna like show like what I had done. So for me, that was like a huge responsibility because I know it had to be good because I was representing her. But one of the first surprises is coming into today, I had like a different idea of what I wanted to do for my photo shoot. I was like, I feel like it's a kid's clothing line, so maybe a little bit more, more color into it. My thing was like a day at the park kind of thing. Angela's idea for her whole clothing line is more on the edgy side. I had to like rethink what I wanted to do for my photo shoot, so that was a little hard because I had been thinking of this whole other thing, so I had to switch it up in like five minutes. She did have a unique, a unique vision for you know her project, and I think it kind of was a bit of a challenge for her because Angela's vision is a little different. So I think she kind of overcame that obstacle by compromising and meeting halfway, you know, where Daniela's vision met Angela's vision for her line. The things I learned throughout the week that I applied to my project, I think the main one was 
uh, watching Emma take pictures of me and then Josie helping me and showing me how to edit because if I hadn't learned th that throughout the week when my project was assigned to me I would have been totally clueless on what to do like Emma was great at directing me like how to pose so I try to do that with Chanel and then Josie with the editing she showed me uh, the apps they use and how to do the brightness and how to make it just look all better and that really helped me I was her unexpected you know stalker mom I was in charge of her for the week and I had a lot of fun uh, you know, getting to know her. And I definitely felt like it was a family I was coming into. And thank you so much for everything. It was an amazing experience.